Criminal convictions make up nearly one-third of the working age population, according to the American Bar Association. Jeffrey Korzenek says giving people a second chance is not just a good cause. It's crucial for businesses that want to stay competitive. He's an investment strategist and the author of Untapped Talent, How Second Chance Hiring Works for Your Business and the Community. Thanks for being with us, Jeffrey. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. So you forget this. There's a huge portion of the population that might have this one conviction, but nothing else on their record. And it might be something that's very easily overcome. And why is that important for businesses to overlook those? The bottom line is businesses should understand that sourced right and supported appropriately, people with criminal records can be not just adequate employees, but actually superior employees because of their drive and commitment to rebuilding their lives. And so what, what um, obviously they're going to be asked the question, uh, <laughs> and do they need to be prepared with a statement about why they were in this situation and how they've turned it around? Yeah, absolutely. One of the things that I recommend to people with records is that they be prepared for that question. And one of the best ways to do that is to have a written statement that they have worked on, edited, shown to other people and edited again so they can keep it very clear, concise, and show that they are more than their conviction and that they have learned from this episode in their lives. What about people looking for a job right now? There's a lot of people out of work. What, what kind of things do they have to be willing to do as a result of the pandemic? What's changed? Yeah, the pandemic really has changed a lot because it has disrupted habits of spending uh, where we live, where we work. That means that some jobs are going away forever, but new opportunities are being created. So people who are job hunting in this environment have to show tremendous flexibility. Don't let the perfect job get in the way of a good job. That means being flexible about what direction your career takes, uh, where that job might be located, and making sure that you are not pigeonholed into your old position because it no, may no longer exist. It looks like the top uh, blue collar jobs anyway are manufacturing, warehouse work, transportation, uh, construction. What about white collar jobs? What's the growing uh, industry or specific job there for people out of work? Well, you know, technology continues to grow in the application of technology. Fortunately, Chicagoland has a really strong base there. The challenge becomes for workers that don't have that skill set, uh, being able to gain uh, gain those. I, th I think the key for a lot of workers is how they position themselves with employers and not uh, and being able to translate skills in one job to skills in, in other jobs. But uh, technology is clearly going to be a winner here. Healthcare will continue to grow. Those. those those are uh, in very important areas. Jeffrey Korzenik, thanks so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get a check of the weather. Hello there, Paul.